Hey guys, today I want to talk about a beginner topic in coin magic and the question being asked is what size coin should I use or what are the different coin sizes and what are uh, and let's get a comparison of those different coin sizes. All right, so first a lot of people will want to start off with quarters and the reason for that is you don't have to purchase anything extra most people have quarters laying around and it looks more natural um, for some tricks this is uh, okay some tricks actually even I'm talking about marketed tricks will use quarters um, for sleight of hand magic um, quarters are actually not that great unless you um, have you know smaller hands or maybe for a kid um, and the reason for that is um, I mean, first they're very easy uh, to hide, like in finger palm. Uh, but the problem is, is they're not easy to see. They're not very big, so they're not very visual. Uh, and uh, another thing is actually some of the slights I find to be actually more difficult with a smaller coin, like a quarter, like classic palm, things like that. It, they're actually, it's actually more difficult edge grip. All that is like more difficult with a quarter, even doing like a coin roll is more difficult with a smaller coin, like a quarter. Um, these are half dollars. And this is definitely a coin I would recommend right here for coin magic. Um, these are pretty good. Uh, I believe like Al Schneider uses uh, half dollars a lot. Um, and you actually, these are a little bit more difficult to find though. You usually can't find them in the store. A lot of times not even banks will have them. I had to go to an actual um, coin store to get these um, but I was able to exchange uh, dollar for dollar to get these I didn't have to pay a premium I think you can maybe find them online but you have to pay a premium for them um, the good thing about half dollars is they're a good balance between um, size and uh, as far as being able to classic palm and manipulate them uh, without them uh, being too big and at the same time they give some they're they're big enough to give some visual appeal where the spectator can can see them um, of course Al Schneider when he was using them would use them in a lot of um, close-up effects like his matrix you know so people are um, kind of up close anyway so that brings me to the next size coin is going to be a standard silver dollar and you can see the difference here's the half dollar here is the silver dollar so almost like twice as big there and this is a replication of a Morgan silver dollar I got these on Amazon you can maybe find them on eBay and they are actually um, steel I believe it is so they're mag so you can so a magnet will pick them up whereas with most coins a magnet will not if you ever need that sometimes you might need that for like a raven or something um, now I actually prefer these coins it, it generally depends on the situation um, but for doing like coin manipulation and stage work these are much better see how it's much more visible and people can see that and it flashes better right um, it's a little bit more difficult to hide than a um, half dollar but you know you can do it uh, just with enough practice and it's actually I would say almost easier to classic palm than a half dollar because it's got a nice big shape that kind of holds right in there so these are actually my preferred coins. They're actually harder to finger roll though. Uh, half dollar is probably the best size to do a finger roll. See, they're just so big, they're hard to finger roll. Um, another good thing about these is that they clink together very well. 
like they make a lot of noise and for tricks where you need to have an audio element there's some tricks that uh, use that especially with like a click pass these are the best half dollars will also give you uh, a decent sound not as loud and that's another reason why quarters are not as good because quarters are very hard to click together if you're doing like a click pass or whatnot um, that brings me to I wanted to give a tip by the way here's two silver dollars and you can hear just the way they click together is really good okay um, these are poker chips and this is a hot tip right here get you some of these these are clay poker chips or you can get replica ones um, like Walmart I got these from Walmart Walmart will sell them I'm sure Amazon does too and the cool thing about these I mean you can get like a whole box of these for like 10 bucks and they come in like five different colors they're pretty indestructible here's the size they're about the size of a silver dollar but they're actually even a little bit bigger all right so they're very visual um, I think I remember seeing Rick Lax using these. He's not a Bitcoin magician, but it's kind of where I got the idea. These are great, especially for practice, and you can still do tricks with them. Um, the only drawback is they don't have a good clinking factor since they're clay. You'll get a little bit of a sound, but not a great sound. But the cool thing is if you get, you can get two colors and, um, you know you can do things like a uh, you know like a spellbound change without having to do like a you know co without having to have like copper silver coins right so um, that's so these are good for that uh, another thing is I was talking about like the quarters being too small there are a couple exceptions. There are some old like impromptu tricks that use like dimes and pennies, but they're usually not as sleight of hand related. Um, and there is one trick though by Greg Wilson that uses uh, dimes and pennies and it's like a killer trick. Other than that, like you rarely ever use pocket change when you're dealing with coins, okay? And the way you find also the coin that's best for you is, um, you know, really it just depends on the size of your hand. And like, for example, when you classic palm, you want to see like what fits best. And really, you, you just want to get all the different sizes and try them out because um, each person's hand is different. Um, and really, you just want to be able to learn to do the sleight of hand with all of the coins, all size coins is actually the best way to learn. So these are the best size coins to get if you're getting into coin magic. Um, and so just try out the different sizes is what I recommend. Um, get some of these coins to try. They're, they're not too expensive or you may already have some uh, coins laying around from a coin collection like old silver dollars. Um, you don't actually have to get the re replica ones. If you have the real ones, that's perfect. Uh, I think you can get, um, like I said, you can get them on Amazon really cheap, the replica ones. I assume they still make them. Um, I know a lot of times uh, coin uh, dealers or magic dealers like illusionists will sell um, silver dollar coins, but they'll a lot of times be a lot more expensive, right? So it's cool that I was able to find these replica ones. So that's a hot tip for you. And um, all right, guys, well, thanks for watching. If you want to learn more magic, go ahead and subscribe. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button and comment down below. I'm going to be, uh, be bringing more great magic videos, and I'm going to teach you some coin magic using these coins coming up. So let's get started.